On today's edition of Cosmo Times, it's a gift-giving extravaganza as we investigate the hot trends in gifting this holiday season. But first, we get a word on the street on how you get fashionable with the color red. Well, I think it keeps me、um, in a good mood. Our New York and London reporters sum up what was cool to give this past Christmas. Bai Xu Xu does some Shanghai gift wrapping of his own. And as always, creative source. We'll be getting started with our today's show in a second, but I just thought, since today's show is all about gift trends, I'd be a good co-host and get back to you a little pre-Chinese New Year gift. He's going to be so surprised. Should be here by now. I'm coming! I'm coming! Ta-da! Welcome to this all-new episode of Cosmo Times. What's that? Oh, since today's episode is all about gift-giving trends, so、oh, I got you a present. Wow, it's so big! I can't believe you're so thoughtful. Ah,、uh, it's um, it's nothing. Can I open it? No, because we need to start the show first. Okay, first up, let's hit the streets of Shanghai, London, and New York and see what people had to say when we asked them about dressing up with China's favorite holiday color, red. I wrapped it myself. Really? We're taking to the city streets to see how people are getting ready for the holiday season by wearing this colorful hue. Why are you wearing red today? I don't know. I think it keeps me、um, in a good mood. So I look good in it. It's my favorite scarf. I love red. A little splash of color always works.、And、this is my grandmother's coat, so she's a little piece of her with me. I feel happy too and and lucky. Actually, maybe we'll buy one of those lottery tickets. You know. <laughs> well, I like the color and I think it stands out. I actually, searched for this for a while. I'm actually wearing it because I put on black and gray, and she's like, "You got to wear something with it that's different." So she said. Red, so that's what I did. I'm actually a graduate of the University of Georgia, so I wear red and black all the time for my Bulldogs.、Uh, I go to Boston University, and our school colors are red and white. So I like to support my school wherever I am. Did you know that in China, that wearing red is a sign of luck? I never knew that. No. You, are you feeling lucky today? Very lucky. That's why I got it. <laughs> uh, yes, I am. I have a date tonight, so hopefully I get lucky. <laughs> yeah, I do. In what way? I'm visiting my girlfriend. No, that's great to know. I hope so.、Uh, I just feel good. I don't know if I feel lucky, but now maybe I'll think of it that way.、Um, no, I did not know that. I feel happy, I guess. <laughs> it stands out a little bit. Yeah, I do. I like to think BU's always going to win whenever, whenever I'm wearing my、uh, my red hat. So. The code on red here in New York City. People love to wear it because it makes them feel happy, confident, and brings them a little bit of luck. I know for me, I would wear red every day of the week if I could. Let's face it, I look pretty darn good in it. From head. Hi, I'm Yuki here in Shenzhen. The color red has many different interpretations. For instance, it can mean a fast car, and for food, it can mean spicy. So, what do people think about red in fashion, and how will they use it on their outfits? Let's go check it out today. 为什么会选择红色？因为红色对于黑白灰来说，这是一个比较出跳的颜色。它虽然平时穿衣服比较随便，但是还是比较注重细节。红色对我来说，代表在冬天里的一种热情，还有一种阳光。然后今天选择这件红色的衣服，是因为它上面有，呃，有一块一块像亮片一样的东西，但是实际上它就不是亮片。裤子和这个手机壳，还有包包上面的配饰，都是一个颜色的，全身不会超过两个颜色，这是我平时的装扮的手。
个人是比较喜欢红色，尤其是中国红。然后就是呃，因为它是比较好搭配的。然后不管和黑色啊、白色啊，然后因为我的职业的关系，需要就是有时候比较沉稳一点，但是又不想是全身黑，想要有一些那个比较跳跃的颜色出来，所以我就会选择红色，尤其是中国红。I'm at a fan. Let's see what people here have to say about red. 红色呢，就是在冬天里面看上去比较温暖。我平时的搭配呢是黑色比较多，家里的外套啊、衣服也是黑色为主。这双鞋子呢是漆皮做的，跟其他的鞋子也有一些不一样。然后在冬天里面就会比较跳一些。因为我觉得重点还是在一双鞋，它都是比较就是干练还干净的一些设计，然后穿上感觉人就是精神和气质就一下子。Did you hear that? Using red as a block color is not the way to go. It's better to use accessories to add that little red flavor. Time for don't move a muscle because the best is yet to come. We head to New York and London to get Paul's uncosmopolitan present giving. I take a trip to a trendy Shanghai shop and get a lesson in gifting. Plus today's dose of creative source. Welcome back to this generous episode of Cosmo Times. With Western holidays just passed and China's biggest festival just around the corner, we thought we'd take some time to discover what gifts are popular with today's modern Cosmoite. That's right. So let's get exchange started with a look at what is hard to give in the Big Apple this holiday season. I really want to open it. Patience. We've got a whole show to go. If you're looking for some unforgettable treasures for your friends and family, look no further than Soho. The wide selection makes it a go-to for gifts that are a little out of the box. I teamed up with New York-based stylist Lisa Nguyen to get a lesson in trendy gift giving. Every woman in your life deserves to look fabulous. Let's see which wardrobe additions no lady should be without. Statement rings. These are great, oversized. Kind of like artwork rings, so they come in all different colors here, as you can see, and they're almost like stones, and they're just great to throw on with any outfit, really. Yeah, they just, like make an outfit, yeah, right? Exactly. I mean, you could just do like a white t-shirt and jeans, and you yeah. have this, and you're you're basically catwalk ready. I wanted to point out these dolls because they're so cute. They're soft, and like you said, they're different. They、um, really are. What, what I really love about them is that they're actually little designer dolls. So they're actually named after designers. So for instance,、what? this is Donatella. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so chic.、Uh, there's a little chain, so you can also pop it on your phone or on your handbag. I think this is the perfect gift for a lady. It's it's a feather jacket. So it's even lighter than fur. It's so soft, and it just adds a really beautiful chic. Light touch to any outfit. You can even wear it with just jeans, or obviously over an evening outfit as well. Look、oh、at you! Oh my gosh, I feel like we're two hot chicks <laughs> <laughs> made out of the feathers. Oh, this is great. Well, so it's official. I'm probably not going to take this off, but I love it. Oh man! It doesn't matter if the man you're shopping for is sporty, stylish, or artsy. Lisa shows me what gifts will have the man in your life looking his best. So one of the things that I absolutely love, which I think is a great suggestion for all types of men, really, I wanted to point out these felt hats. Ooh, okay. So, and they come in a variety of colors. So they do. If your man looks best、mm -hmm. in like a, you know, more of a slate color or a lighter charcoal, I kind of like this one personally. I love that one too because that one's great for the spring, summer, and also you know for fall,、um, and it's unisex as well. So yeah. As a girlfriend or a sister, you can always steal that hey one. Hey there, <laughs> yeah. I know we're gonna have a hat off. Like who looks better in it? Well, I think we all love a man in a tie. So I wanted to point out these beautiful, beautiful bow ties here.、Uh, I just think they're absolutely adorable. They're they really、yeah. beautiful. They're they're, they're <laughs> quite great. I mean, and with these, like they look so fantastic on a plain white shirt. But also, if you wanted to to be a bit more, you know, be a bit more out there, you could also pair it with a print as well. For the homebodies, there's always the go-to items like candles and pillows. 
They add a personalized touch to a warm and comfortable space. They look fantastic, these candles. It reminds me of a little <laughs> piece of cake, like it's, it's a little gift. They're adorable. And not only do they look fantastic, but they smell amazing. Let's, I'm gonna check out this Portland apple one because... How's it smell? Um, A plus. Like this, I mm. feel like I could take a bite out of this candle. I won't, because <laughs> I've eaten once before and it doesn't taste so great, but these are lovely. And it, also, it's a personal touch because you can pick it out. Even if you were to get a couple of different colors, they look fantastic, as you can see, as like a rainbow. Yeah, <laughs> except don't let them all at one time or it's gonna be like, a, you're gonna be like, what scent is this? Treasure and Bond proved to be a fantastic destination to check off all the special people on my list. Its selection of stylish and trendy gifts with a payback to the community make it a one-stop shop, literally. But all this buying for others got me thinking. There's nothing wrong with getting myself a little something, right? Cosmetize. Not bad, New York. Of course, nothing to compare with my gift, but... Uh. Hey, stop messing with it. It's supposed to be for me. Yeah, but giving is a selfless act. I want to enjoy it for as long as possible. Whatever. Now let's head to London and see what tricks they had up their sleeves this past Christmas Eve. <gasps> Sorry. shopping is generally the trickiest shopping trip of the entire year. Your present could either be a complete success or an absolute flop. Unlike China, we don't really give presents here at New Year's. We generally give all of our presents at Christmas. But what were the best-selling gifts of Christmas 2012 and what gifts should we have left in the store and saved our money on? I'm here at John Lewis in Oxford Street to find out just that. gifts come back into fashion like a few years after they've made a massive hit. A little bit like Furbies. Now I remember playing with Furbies when I was little and they're excellent. You can tickle them and you can feed them and they make little funny noises and you can rub their ears and their back and look after them like a real little child or pet or something of yours. And they have become so popular this Christmas. It's the must-have children's gift. So if you're still looking for something to get to your kids, get them a Furby. So this is the Somerset Collection, designed by Alice Temperley, and is a particular favourite of some of the royal family members, including Kate herself. It was designed exclusively for John Lewis and is the fastest selling brand ever to be sold here. I'm going to go try some of them on. has been a huge hit for us Brits. We had the Jubilee and the Olympic Games and because of that it's seen a soar in patriotic goods like this. Anything with a Union Jack on it or a picture of the Queen has sold so well, including this vintage Roberts DAB digital radio. We're very lucky to be here with Simon Fowler, who is the store manager here at John Lewis Oxford Street. What, did you notice any particular brands or gifts that sold really well? Well, a, a couple probably, but in, um, in, in particular that stand out. So I think on our, um, our ground floor, we've just refurbished our beauty department. So mm -hmm. beauty brands were very, very big for us during yeah. the course of last year. And then right at the other end of the shop, right on the top floor in our audio and television department. So you obviously have a huge Chinese fan base uh, and you've brought out this, which is great. What's, what's this? Yeah, so this is a, um, a store guide, which is written mm -hmm. in Mandarin for yep. uh, our Chinese visitors. Of course, uh, the UK has been very proud to host the London 2012 Games this year uh, and in preparation for that along with a growing trend of Chinese visitors coming to the UK uh, we put in place a store guide which yeah. is right for uh, customers who want to read all yeah. about what we have on offer uh -huh. uh, and we have 37 different languages spoken by the team that oh, work wow. here yeah. so that we can help customers from international uh, destinations. Oh, that's great. Like that? Well, there's plenty to come. I head out to the shops of Shanghai for my very own city search. And Creative Source brings you famous faces and cool places.
Welcome back to Cosmo Times. We have already seen the New York and Londoners are pretty generous gift givers. Yeah, just like me. I brought this big gift knowing I would get nothing in return. Hold on. I got you a present too. You just intimidated me with this big box. Oh really? So where is this so-called present? Well, it was here. Do you have it? Sure, it was. Well, when she looks for this missing present, it's time to come with me to see what gift giving and wrapping are all about. His shop. It's winter. Our host Bai Xu Xu seems to be doing awesome. A great job, decent friends, and a loving family. But the problem is, how is he going to pick the right gifts to win over their hearts? The Chinese New Year is quickly approaching, and Valentine's Day is also just around the corner. During this holiday season, both locals and expats send gifts to their friends, lovers, and parents. Gifts, gifts, gifts! So many choices. For me, I don't want to just give away gifts the same way everyone else does. I think this time it should be a bit more creative. Nowadays in Shanghai, gift shops have become a commodity, many of which exist online. But today, we're going to head to a popular gift shop to ask for tips for sending gifts. The gift shop Simple Mill is located at the well-known artistic area of Shanxi Nan Road, which is a popular spot among the locals. It not only sells gifts but also spreads culture and shares content.你好先生你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好你好
well, as you just saw, Shanghai's gift season may be a bit later than our friends in New York and London, but the trends aren't that different. Stick with small but thoughtful surprises, and above all else, put them in a pretty package. It's worth it. It's okay, Mengxi. Just admit I'm more thoughtful than you. No, it's here. It's definitely here somewhere. Just go to the creative source. All right. Born in Granada, Spain, Ms. Mariola Contrero began her musical studies at the conservatory in her hometown, then later on in Vienna. Her performances have already won her many prestigious awards, like the Opera Actual Award in 2002, the Gold Medal of the Arts in Granada, and the Andalusian Gold Medal in 2011. Her presence has been a constant at the main Spanish theaters across Europe and in Asia too, where she debuted La Traviata as Violetta at the National Opera in Korea. Miss Contrero was finally invited by Mr. Xu Zhong to come to Shanghai to perform her signature voice as Violetta at the 200th anniversary of Verdi's concert opera last Saturday night. The 70th annual Golden Globe Awards have just recently passed, which of course meant that there needed to be tons of preparation. And when it comes to food for the awards, the Beverly Hilton executive chefs had all the answers for the menu. We have iron、uh, fried iron steak, which has been smoked lightly with、uh, apple wood and dry herbs. And served on top is a kind of season is a mini sweet pepper, which has been pickles. For dessert, a tree of chocolate, coffee, and citrus treats. So we have a dark chocolate mousse that has espresso in it, with a little bit of rum. And then going very well with the coffee is the Kahlua, so we'll have a white chocolate mousse with Kahlua. And then we make a orange chili caviar. This goes very well with coffee and chocolate. And also going with this is a salted caramel tart. So it's a little bit of salt going with it. So actually, all three together go very well. The 70th annual Golden Globe Awards was hosted just recently at the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Beverly Hills, California. Aha!、Uh -huh. See, it's little, but I did get you a present. Ooh. What oh, about、cool. patience? What? What? Pa oh. Ah,、uh, you're welcome. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Now, can I open mine? Uh, sure.、Huh. Wow, it's light. Well, while she opens that, that's it for this edition of Cosmo Times. Hope you got some great gift ideas for this coming Chinese New Year. And don't forget to tune in next week for more cosmopolitan trends. Good for one lunch with Bai Xuxi. This is your great present. Hey, I put a lot of time into wrapping that. <laughs> <Yeah> . <laughs> <laughs> One lunch with Bai Xuxi. <laughs>